Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang graph ng cosecant function. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. Ang graph ng cosecant function ay nade-derive gamit yung graph ng sine function. Kukuhanin lang natin yung inverse niya. In other words, hindi natin mag-graph ang cosecant on its own. Palagi nating uunahin yung sine function, tapos kukuha na, na lang natin ng inverse yung kanyang graph. Yung mga intercept na previously ay in-enumerate natin sa sine function, magiging asymptote yan ng cosecant function. Parang ganito. Yung pulang curve na nakikita ninyo, yan yung sine function. Hindi yan kasama sa graph natin. Technically, kasi part lang yan to get the blue curves, which are the cosecant function. Kung makikita ninyo yung mga point na intercept or x-intercept ng ating sine function, sila yung nagsilbing asymptote for the cosecant function. So basically, what we're going to do is we first plot the continuous sine function. Tapos, yung mga intercept, lagyan natin ng line, vertical line. That will be the asymptote. And yung mga minimum and maximum point, doon natin ilalagay yung more or less vertex ng cosecant functions. Tapos, buburahin natin yung pinaka sine function. Apply natin yung mga sinabi ko sa example number 1. Meron tayong y equals to CSC theta. Recall, doon sa video natin ng sin theta, na graph na natin yung y equals to sin theta. Kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung video natin about graphing sine functions, ilalagay ko lang yung link dito sa upper right corner ng video na to. We are not dealing with period and amplitude anymore, ang gagawin natin, diretso graph na tayo ng cosecant function. Again, what we're going to do ay yung mga intercept ay gagawin nating asymptote. So, kung saan tumama yung ating sine function, gagawan lang natin ng broken line, that will be our asymptotes. So, when drawing asymptote, pwede kayong gumamit ng ruler para mas straight. Kahit yung ating asymptote ay dumaan sa mismong y-axis, ilalagay pa natin yun like what I did here. After drawing all the asymptote, ang susunod naman nating bibigyang pansin ay yung mga minimum and maximum values. Next, yung mga part na may maximum values like this one, magdodraw lang tayo ng U-shaped curve. Make sure na yung ends ng U ay hindi dumikit sa asymptote or hindi rin pumasok ulit pa loob ng curve. Medyo hawig siya sa parabola, parang inulit-ulit na parabola. But this time, may involve na tayo na asymptote and it's the graph for the cosecant function. By the way, ganun din sa mga minimum values. Dodrawingan natin ng U yung mga, mga minimum points. After drawing these U curves, Burahin mo na yung pinaka sine function kasi parang guide lang naman natin yun na may iwan na lang sa atin yung ganitong curve. So, mas maayos yung curve na to, mas accurate. And that is the graph for y equals to cosecant theta. Let's proceed to the second example. We have y equals negative 3 CSC 2 theta. Again, this is related to the second example ng sign dahil ito ay nasolve na rin natin yung graph ng y equals negative 3 sine 2 theta. Inextend ko lang dahil dun sa video natin sa sign ay isang period lang. 
same ang ating pattern. Gagawa lang tayo ng mga asymptotes. Na parang ganito. Iyan yung ating mga asymptote based on the x-intercept of y equals negative 3 sine 2 theta. And just like what we did in example 3, yung mga maximum points, dodrawingan natin ng u-curve, pataas. And yung ating minimum points, dodrawingan din natin ng u-shaped curve na opening downwards. Make sure na yung u-shaped curve ay hindi dumaan or hindi mag-intersect sa mismong asymptote. Oops, hindi pwede to dahil bumalik yung curve. Wait, let's modify that. Tandaan, aside from the fact na hindi dapat dadaan yung curve natin sa asymptote, hindi rin pwedeng bumaliko or mag-U-turn yung ating curve. So, for a more accurate graph of the cosecant function, we have this one. So, ito ang ating cosecant function. In the next video, pag-uusapan naman natin ang graph ng second function at kung paano siya related sa cosine function. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!